Why, hello, my friends. Blue Poet here. And today we're going to be doing our next episode for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Again, I've appreciated you guys following me along in this journey. Uh, I'm going to keep my conversation slow, or at least not so much, so that way we can get into this. Spend the next hour or so uh, seeing what other uh, mysteries we can unravel in this uh, adventure that we're taking. And again, this is Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. And Blue Poet, alongside with me is Libby and Hero, who will sometimes chime in and tell me directions that I need to go. So without further ado, let us uh, check out another episode. Anything to say? Okay. So in our last episode, we helped uh, our friend Horgus here um, we learned some family secrets about him. We told him we were going to keep our, uh, traps quiet about it, and he was very thankful, uh, but he also destroyed the evidence, uh, that, uh, led up to what was happening. So, uh, now we're going to go back outside. We do it my way. And see what other trouble we can get ourselves into. So I'm going to guess we can't still go there. Follow if you dare. I will follow. We had a pretty scuffed up fight. We got some pretty uh, hurt people here, but uh, that's okay. We'll make it through. Um, I'm tempted to go there. There's nothing we can do with the tower right now. We're waiting for that to happen. It says we have to wait there. Otherwise, we got the Blackwing Library as well. Um, so since we're down here, let's go ahead and take a, a gander at the uh, Terra Bade residence. Let's just go see what is there. We are taking forever to go down this path, but now it's taking up fairly quick. I like that little icon, though. that's pretty cool. Let us enter. Okay. Can't do anything with it there. Oh. Maybe we can go over here, but I doubt it. Nope, we cannot go there, we can't go in there. That was a big bird. Um, if we look at the map, looks like we're heading in the right direction with some loot, something like that. So let's go down. There's the loot. Probably should go through here. Look at the armor and weapons that we got. Sharp bow of code. Plus one is attack roll. She can't use it. He can. He's got the 1d8. Let me give it to, to him. Let's give him a short bow. Even though I like the long bow, that gives me some extra stuff. Um, we got this marching terror. She's got that weapon. Uh, is this any better? 1d6, this is the same as what she's got. Libby's saying that she thinks it's better, so... So you think I should uh, equip it, huh? Okay, I'll equip it. I'll equip it, don't worry. So let's give it to her. Libby says we have to. I don't know what this claw is. It's for more of a marco. And Libby is very talkative right now. She was very happy that I put that on there. Uh... Medium armor, okay. She's got heavy armor. He's got more of the light. So these guys really don't have anything. So if I put stuff on, then that's going to cause issues, and we don't want issues. And I don't see anything really here. So, okay. I'm wondering if I can actually camp and try to get rid of 
this guy's next to door issue going on. Uh, got everything there. Let's begin the rest. Note to self, it's possible the Paladin girl has developed a prediction of participating in scientific experiments. As a subject, I must study this phenomenon and include it as a separate entry in the encyclopedia. Look at him cook away over there, making some grubs. <clears throat> so she failed to weaken the corruption. Okay. So how far can we go? I don't think we really rested that well because okay. I really wish I had a cleric. Entranced fighter. That doesn't sound good. Neutral even human. Okay. You crossed the wrong mongrel. They are the darkness. Don't hold back. So this is No. Uh, we are getting ourselves. Uh, so it's your it fault. Feels... Oh, for you. Let's place it. This will so leave a bruise. Wait. You don't have anything in your belt, do you? You do. Could you? And you go I'm all right. Man, you guys are just destroying just sit me. here. Don't worry about it. I love this. I need you guys to, to move. This condition is irrational. Dead. You guys dead. I dedicate my body to science. Okay, well that was not um, a really great uh, battle that we did here. We have lots of uh, injuries again. Um, I must say that I am... Uh, Getting it handed to me here lately in these last uh, two episodes. Um, let me see if I can actually make another camp. Because um, that did not go well, and I need to get some health. I'm going to take a look at the rituals. Looks like she's not much different, but... I move you over. I think I really want to get the corruption resolved. Um, camouflage. I think you're the best. Oh no, Wolf Junk. Let's do the camouflage with you. Okay. We're here. We got a 10 and 11. Let us make you go probably for the second ship. Let's put you on there. For alchemy, we'll get, or at least a hearty meal, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. okay so we don't have an alchemist spell. Let's go with that. Let's just see what happens. Let's begin resting. Hopefully we'll get a good night's rest here and we won't uh, end up getting ourselves creamed. I 
might have to start going to where I do turn base when we get to the combat so that way I can actually uh, survive but we'll see because right now like I said those two big uh, combats were uh, brutal so that time it looks like we passed for a whole day uh, we did impact the, the corruption so that's good we lowered our camp so we got those two good and she got a hearty meal so I like that that works and we're still healed up so, there's something up ahead over here, but let's go here. I'm off! Libby says I need to be cautious that I'm going to get myself killed in the background there. Which would not surprise me. That's an excellent. Okay. I'll just go back here. Like the stage. Nothing up on there that I can see. I guess there's probably nothing over in this direction because of that battle that we just hit. Another exit area, yep. Okay. Nothing really there. There is a boot there. That would silver chain. Collect it. Is a residence we can enter in there, so let us go into there. I would stop probably if I were to restart this whole game, I would probably create a cleric because it seems like that's where my issues are lying right now. Is I need a healer and I don't have one, but I do now what, what I must. Is that? I hope you appreciate this. Save the last one for me. She gets hurt bad. I wonder if I do. So this is how it feels. I can't die now. I'm not nearly rich enough. It's all your fault. What is that thing? Succubus. Oh, great. Uh. It's all your fault! Man, there's gotta be something I can do with this person. Blinding ray, color spray, snowball, magic missile. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I got this thing over here, don't I? Let's try the light. This will leave a bruise. Emit damage reduction of two types of damage, physical or energy. Okay, I need to learn this if I'm gonna try. I can't use that, so. Maybe I need to get that going as well. I'm alright. I'm alright. That off. He's down. Did you create a pet? You should have listened to reason. I'll just sit here. Don't worry about me. I think I'm gonna survive this one. My guys are just not doing well. Okay. Looks like I've got some injuries now. 
I've got for her. She's at death's door. She's got a negative level. Which I don't have any way to restore that. We are really, really messed up right now. I will have to say that. And Libby says the same thing. That I should have not have done this battle. But Oh, that's nice. What is that? The cloak. Let's collect. Cloak of disguise. And a rapier plus one. I'm wondering if we really need to just change up things. This cloak. Plus three companies wants a stealth skill check. Okay. Well, we're more of the stealthy person. Let's give that to you. And then let's go back to the weapons. And is this going to be any better? 2 7. 18 20. 2 7 on the clip. Whenever the sickle lands, they hit an enemy. They target must pass. Well, let's keep the sickle on the phone. Let's just see what happens. That's what Libby wanted me to try. Uh, that's what we'll do. What do we have here? Even though we're completely getting creamed here. <clears throat> and I don't know how much farther I can go, but... Uh, looks like that was it in here, but... I am definitely getting wrecked so far. Just starting off. I really need a healer. Anything there? I don't see anything here. If I look at the map, it looks like we've got it. That was brutal. That was uh, definitely not good. I'm gone. Let's... Tempted to go heal again, or at least rest. But I don't know how that's going to affect my guys. <clears throat> ah, my goodness. I've got 32 potions left. Give you some. Go ahead and use. Try to get you up a little bit. I don't want to rest because I think I don't want to get in a situation where if we rest and they attack and we're not anywhere near our tavern friends to help them. But I'm going to probably head back to the tavern because we're a little scuffed right now, guys. It says there, there's loot over here somewhere that I missed. Not sure where that was at. Anything in here? Says it's behind us along the wall. Says there's something over here. Right? Okay. We do it my area. way. Let's head back to our tavern and see if we can get a good night's rest and uh, hopefully find a healer somewhere along the way because we are getting scuffed. There's nothing we can do really there. We got the garrison, which it says that, that we were not ready for. We got the library that we need to go to. And we still got to do this and talk to Wolfja. Let's get back to the heart. Let's see how that will go because... Kira Bade uh, hurt us pretty bad. Worm mission there from yesterday hurt us, so we are... Uh, we are not doing well right now. There is nothing we can do with this because we're waiting for them to attack us. And I don't know when that will be. Definitely go very slow when you're going around these corners. Don't know what the difference is there. But probably oh that's probably the uh, hole in the ground. Oh great. Or Get another road. obstacle. Yeah, we got somebody in the road ahead. Huh? And messenger with some dress. You won't right, survive me. <laughs> Almost went from having a better 
attack person too that has more armor, but it's kind of also nice when they pop up these things that tell you, hey, these creatures are not good with what you're doing. Try these spells instead and see what happens, but that's kind of nice. I am a, I'm alive. If I like half the abyss and arrow, a relu herself was on my tail back there. Another witch. Commander Terrible sent me to get you. I thank all the gods I found you for Sule. The commander wants you to come back and help protect the defender's heart right away. And what happened? Demons. The demons are closing in the tavern. The soon have us around it. I almost didn't make it past to come get you. They could strike at any moment. They're closing in on a tavern, but mostly enough that you had time to run for help. I see your enemies used up whatever reserves of stealth they had in their first assault on Kadam. What need is there for stealth in the city? What in a city, one has already conquered. That's what you think. That's what they think. And that's what, what will bring them down. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Yes, yes, let's go. We'll show those people. Okay. So it looks like we're going back to the tavern to uh, help defend. Follow if you dare. I've not seen anybody out here, so they must be all inside the tavern now, waiting for the big fight. Uh -oh. Is there anything? Where is it? There's a guy here. Let's go see what he has. Why are you outside, sir? Back into here, let's do the bulk selling, get rid of all the junk stuff. <sighs> let's get rid of things that are not magical. Probably will regret it, but uh, I'm okay with that. We got a big battle coming up, so that'd be nice. I don't know if I want to sell her rapier yet. I've got that one too, so that's nice. Uh, let's get rid of the non magical stuff here. Just to lighten myself up some. We got a hide plus one, a breast plus one, both medium armors, and another medium armor. Nothing there that can be done. Really need to get rid of some of that stuff too, but you know, I got some money. It'd be nice that they had better stuff that I could do. I'm curious on this one. But I don't got sixteen thousand to do it. <coughs> Butcher of the Undead. Nice. Plus one light crossbow. Converts a critical head. Deals 2d4 damage. All enemies. I like that. That's kind of nice. That would be good for my gal that uh, uh, uses the crossbow, but that's going to take up all my my monies. Okay, so let's go in. Let's do this battle. Let's see what happens. See if we survive. I was coming here to get myself healed, but okay, so we got some archers there. Yeah, let's go inside. <clears throat> Crusaders, the Crusaders there. Oh boy, look at all these guys. Let's go talk to Irma. Let's see what happens. Ready yourself, the attack is imminent. 
You're probably more accustomed to fighting in the wilderness than the city, but I'm sure you won't let us down. The main thing to remember is there will be a horde of enemies, and they'll attack from every direction. All policing can be mine. According to my sources, a master alchemist called Athrubro has recently arrived in the city. He's a well-known character among demon worshippers. We don't expect him to show up personally, but thanks to him, the cultists have been able to prepare a whole cart full of incendiaries. They will try to burn our defender's heart to the ground. Okay. Hey. Is there time for me to rest before the battle? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go see if I can rest first. See what happens. I risk that Kaido would join with me, but... Let's go. There was... Oh. Thing with Wolf Jet too, but I don't know where he's hiding. They went out of uh, probably somewhere in the back or something, but and I don't think I could bring you. No. Let's get him all. Ember. Do I actually have a personal chest? I do. Well, dang. I was looking for one of those. Stuff away then. This is there. Let's get myself cleaned up here. Pull the stuff out. I was wondering if I had one of these. I don't use a lot of stuff. Keep the potion. Keep the lock bit. Just in case they need something. Of these ingredients. Got peaceful there. We got the ingredients out. That's out. It's a recipe? Wonder how you use these. Huh. Let's come back and see how I can figure out how to use those. But that will help. We have found a new recipe. To learn it, right click it in your inventory and choose memorize. Okay, so I'll have to do that. Okay, so if go here. It's here, right? These are the recipes. Yep, copy. Copy. Okay. Yeah, that'll come in handy. Let's see if I can rest for a little bit, get myself all divvied up. Uh, you to make a hearty meal, I guess. So let's have you. Oh, and again. <clears throat> if that'll help my guys out. and it's not waiting for me that it's just going through its thing. There it goes. Continue. Okay, that should have helped get me healed. And well, let's do this battle. Let's have the battle for our defender's heart here. And uh, see if we survive. Let's start it. Okay. Really? I don't really need him. Let's put her back in. I really could use... I've got way too many ranged. And she's not really a fighter. I really need another fighter, a cleric, or something. But let's just go with that. <clears throat> oh, boy. Get him, boys! Get him! Oh boy. They are everywhere out there. Okay. I'm going to guess that this is going to be Refuse to accept their statement. The 12 of 12, huh? Let us go. What do you have on? 
Hold a bell deep. One enemy creature within medium range. The witch can make your enemies vulnerable well to energy. This hex lasts for a number of rounds, even though the witch is low. Well. During which an enemy. Okay. Lumber. A witch can cause a creature within 30 feet to fall into a deep magical sleep. She is a well to save to get the effect. If the save fails, the creature falls into sleep for a number of rounds, equal to the witch's level. The hat. In the meaning of the creature takes damage, okay, that's normal. Mage armor, ear pierced and scream. Target is dazed for one round, takes 1d6 points of damage. Right, auto cast that? Okay. Get that on. Okay. Let's go, what do we have over here? Surrender or else! I'm wondering for you. Large no. I don't want really want that. Okay. That doesn't really help. I need. Okay. I'll cut you wide open. The heartbeat quickens. The inheritor, guide my blade. This pain is excruciating. You are not good out here. Have you be defensive again? The ability allows the character to accept effects of the fire rays. Add on. Can I turn that on too? Why not? Let's just turn a bunch of stuff on. Are you able to heal yourself? This was unexpected. Got a battle going on. Oh, I just lost land. Losing people like crazy. The spirits here. demand your blood. <laughs> Into the fray. Strike. Too late for apologies. This is quite a battle. Oh, heal yourself. I lost I uh, almost lost her. What do you have for build? Keep that going. Now, go on the fan. Here. The light! Thank you! Did we finally get through that? Because I did not think I was going to win it. If we actually get through this, I'd be surprised. Because we are getting stuffed, scuffed up again. I don't think we're done yet. Over mortal, your feeble resistance. Who is that guy? I'll I hit you. That guy was up there. This will leave a bruise. Mind over muscle. You won't stop. 
wrecked here. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'll remove this obstacle. The inheritor, guide my blade. People. You son of run! Into the fray! You're irrelevant! The light! Take you! I dedicate my body to science! Like a monitor, probably. That's all I That's great. That's great. This will hurt. Yep, it is. Don't hold back. Strike. It is. Okay, he wasn't as bad as I was thinking. You should have run! Even party member as well. All of our defenses are going down. We're at 4 or 12 down. This will hurt! That happened. Is that it? Did we lose? We lost. Okay. Whatever yet, we can still do, still try to retake the Wardstone, but now it would be much harder. Well, what are our losses? So exceptionally high. We lost almost half of our fighters. The ones who survived were only saved by a timely retreat into the streets of the city. The demons also raided our arsenal when they left. Even worse, all the fighters we recruited have deserted us. I can barely hardly blame them. We haven't shown ourselves to be very reliable allies. <clears throat> they think they've crushed us. We still have one more shot of victory. Okay. Well, that uh, was really, really bad. Uh, I did horrible. People got hurt. Things were not good. 
I'm wondering if I can cross on this guy and do a cleric. Because I really need a healer. And I hate to do it. Okay. I'm like Crusaders of Paladin to charge headlong to battle in the name of the death of calling powerful outsiders to aid. Oh, Herald. The Herald can channel storage build energy. Eric proficiencies. Skewing physics armor for protection via the strength of his face. Plus A. Okay. Seder. Man, I hate doing this. I really wish I had a, a healer in my party. Actually, uh, I'll stick with the Demon Slayer, but even though that... Uh, I really, really want a healer. Um, go back to do some dexterity, because he is my... That helps him with his range. Uh, let us go with... Perception again. Nature lore. Got two more. Do the stealth. And I guess I'll put it. Set up. Yeah. Okay, let's do Animal Companion. Let's see if that'll help us. Okay, so I can ride a horse. When riding a horse, you gain a plus bonus to AC. Two strength. Okay, Constitution. Okay. Strength, Dexterity. I think maybe a bear. That's kind of cool. Plus four natural armor for a black. Smell old in? Whatever that is. Uh, 13 in the constitution. So about the same. This one is a. Horse. A boar dog. Ah, oh, dog. Elk. Wolf. Great to eight. What's the dexterity of the dog? Minus. That's 13 dexterity. The wolf is 50. I'm going to go for a wolf. I am going to get myself a wolf. And complete. Animal companion, larger than on one side. For example, large animal for me. Okay. Yes, look at that guy. He is cool. Now we're talking. Now we can take him on. Uh, so the aggressor companions of the most vicious nature are often called aggressors. Right. A bully is bigger than the others of its kind. A bully is used to winning fights and displays of dominance for its choice of mate. Yeah. Companions with a sturdy skin who could do incredible amounts of suffering are called bulwarks. Okay. Daredevil can join the fray with graceful leaps or swooping dice and this in the battle. Okay. Death touch can lose a living animal with a trace of undead. Okay. Racers are good with speed. Oh, yeah. 
faster. Man, I am not sure. And Libby and Hero right now are being quiet, so they're not telling me who I should choose. I'm thinking about the bully. Because I want somebody who's good at winning fights. Let's go with the bully. And let's give him some good athletics. Because that's going to help. He's got two. Let's give him mobility, actually. And then let's give him some stealth as well. And it says here for feats we should use Fury's Fall. Why not? Let's go with it. Okay. Well, I'm not sure who to give the name to. We've already got. Oh, you have a name? What's the name? What do you want to call him? How about. Uh, Kojak? No, you don't like that one? What what do you think, Libby? How about uh, Barnabas? No? No Barnabas? Okay. Larry? You want to do Larry? You're saying yes and Larry. Okay. I guess we have a dog by the name of Larry. Can't be anything because of the fact that Libby and Larry start with an L, but she's wagging her head and saying yes. It should be Larry. Um... Let's make it the fifth day of Eridus. No, let's go Rova. Fifth day of Rova. Okay. And we'll say complete. And I really don't know what's going to happen now that we've lost everything outside. But uh, maybe it's supposed to be that way. I have no idea. But that was definitely not a good, good battle. I know that we were supposed to talk to Kojak, whoever, Wolfjack, or whatever his name is. So let's go talk to him. Well, we got another level for our dog. Okay. Psst, look, Chief. I got something to show you. Ta-da! A <laughs> real beaut, isn't it? Oh, that cuts me deep, Chief. You and I saw who the traitor was. It's just that when we robbed the shop, I went in first and took what I wanted. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Although, of course, I did think about hiding the moon and just taking myself off somewhere warm when all this blows over. But only because I want to see the world. Is it a crime to want to travel, huh? Is that what counts for treachery these days? Did you really have the amulet this whole time? Since that night, Chief, Melround didn't even set eyes on it. While he was dealing with the golem, I sneaked past them, and that was that. Remind me again, why is this item so important? Do you really not remember it? Oh, I thought you would appreciate it. It's from the old man Fileman, the owner of the Ancient Trees and Wonders shop. It's the pride of his collection. The Moon of the Abyss, an amulet with a rare crystal crafted by an unknown maker. When I think of how much this thing is worth, it makes my head spin. You've been searched by guards. How did you manage to hide this amulet? <laughs> Thieves have their ways. Why didn't you give the amulet to Karazumi right away? Psst, what? So she would slay me right away, you mean? You saw how antsy she was over Canabras and all this. So I did it. I took the Moon of the Abyss. But I didn't go to Irabeth. And Big Sister wouldn't hear my explanations. She doesn't have the time. I even thought I'd hide the moon somewhere, and then when all the noise had died down, I'd go get it and make a run for it. I'm sick of the Thieflings. And they never appreciated me anyway. Why did you steal the Moon of the Abyss? You wouldn't have been able to sell it at items to wear anyways. <laughs> Why, he asks? It's expensive, pretty. And you know, it's my amulet, actually. Not meaning I stole it, but... I, I mean, this is my inheritance. My grandma and I were poor. All we had was a jewelry box with the moon in it. She used to store it under the floor in the basement. And she'd take it out sometimes, just to look at it. <laughs> she was always nicer when she had a few drinks in her, so I could ask her things then. 
One time I asked where she got it from, and she said it was from a demon. You know, the demon who was my grandfather. He said the moon was to be passed down. My ma was good for nothing and nobody, so that's why grandma decided to keep the amulet for me. She used to say it would be mine when I grew up. But she couldn't wait until I grew up. She squandered my inheritance when she became a drunk. Took it to Fileman's shop and pawned it. He gave her some coppers for it and she didn't even haggle. Just grabbed them and ran back to the tavern before last orders. I've been going to Fileman's to look at the moon ever since I was a kid. He chased me away, but I just kept going back, so eventually he gave up. He didn't skimp on security. The place was like a fortress, so he wasn't worried about a street rat like me pinching anything. Even when I got more skilled, I couldn't get any closer to it. One day, I had no one to go with. Another day, there were only oafs who'd never stolen anything more than a church donation box. But when Charisme had planned everything out, I, I realized I had a chance to get the moon and move away from here. Maybe to Garand, I, I hear it's warmer there. I've stayed with the family for too long. You deceived the people who considered you a friend. That's not the way you treat friends. Family, friends. You know, some people don't believe in gods, so gods don't exist for them. And I don't believe in family. All that heartwarming talk about sticking together. Ugh. People like to say those things, but when push comes to shove, Sister Charisme used to say that us tieflings were one family, and you see how that turned out. And did you hear that excuse for an apology? I did the right thing, and I was right to want to run when I just planned on stealing the Moon of the Abyss. Everything turned out as it should. Whatever you think, I owe you. I'm not just a thief, I have my own business selling things. Thanks to you, I'm still in the family, and they... Well, I mean, we have the black market sewn up in this city. It's a good way to sell valuables. So, if you need anything, a scroll or something, just say the word. I have a little portal to our people in Erosian. You put a note there, and you get what you need. I can't get you anything big, but what they do have is all high quality. Nothing's too good for you, Chief. What's mine is yours. For a price, of course. Okay. Level him back up. Let's give him mobility again and some more stealth. Yeah, okay, looks like we got him all the way now. Well, guys, this is about right close to the hour mark, I believe, or fairly close to it. Um, so I'm going to call it for here for the. The end of this episode uh, I really don't know what's gonna happen I'm kind of uh, wondering uh, if we uh, failed horribly horribly wrong with that uh, battle going the way it did uh, but no way to tell now until we move forward and we see what happens so I appreciate you guys coming by Libby says thank you for coming by as well she hopes that you like Larry and uh, we will uh, end this episode and I will see you again on our next episode Thank you guys for coming by. Blue Poet out.